Hurry it up, Nate. Shit. The filth. This way. What? Come on. Really? Come on, Charlie, what's the holdup? Yeah, 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 all right, all right. Oh, it'll all be over soon, it'll all be over soon, it'll all be over soon, that's it, that's it, that's it, all. Oh. oh, that wasn't too bad. What the hell is wrong with you? Nothing, I'm fine. <clears throat> that's blocked. Wait, we can get around this way. Yeah, yeah, right. Or we could just use a little muscle. <clears throat> Oh, there's a thought. Wall's too high. Yeah. Let's move this thing over there. I got it. Put your back into it, mate. We haven't got all bloody night. Yeah. Thanks for the help. Come on, move your lazy asses. All right. Looks like the coast is clear. You should be more careful with your head, you know it. <laughs> Evening, lads. All right, darling. <sighs> Looks like hell spit you two back out. Ah, uh, it was a thing of beauty, Chloe. I went off without a hitch. You're unusually quiet. What's up your bum? Oh, well, Charlie seemed to enjoy himself a little bit too much for there my taste. Go. <laughs> my ears are still ringing. Oh, for God's sake. Helps if you have something in between. <laughs> oh, it looks like I missed out on some fun. Yeah, you did, actually. It was very, very uh, cathartic. Ah, yeah, that's funny. Do you have any trouble? Nah, easy peasy. And you're sure they didn't see you trailing them? Not a chance. So, which door's scary Poppins hiding behind? Behind that one there, the green one. They drove in ages ago, and it's been dark ever since. You think they're still in there? Well, I haven't taken my eyes off it. And no one's gone in or out. Hmm. Think these are really necessary? I mean... It's not like they're expecting us. Don't underestimate these blokes. They're not messing about. Hey, we're just gonna sneak in and we sneak up. Just like that. Yeah, fair enough. But any trouble, you shoot first and ask questions later, all right? Man, I was sorely tempted to just pick up that briefcase back there and walk. Yeah, you got a lousy poker face, man. Hey, trust me, that's nothing compared to what we're on to. Yeah, well, at my age, a bird in the hand, you know. Ew. Didn't I tell you? Oh, please. Look, I just hope you're right about this. Seems pretty quiet. You think they're still in there? Well, we're not gonna just barge in the front door and find out. No, we can't afford to waste time standing here. I'll find a way in and check it out. You three stay here. Got it. Where the hell did they go? This doesn't make any sense. Give me a hand with this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Got it. Okay. 
Does anybody see a car? Because I don't see a car. I don't understand. <laughs> Damn it! <clears throat> you sure this is the right one? Yes, the green door, I'm sure. Nate, we are losing time here. And that damn briefcase is looking better and better. All right, come on. They didn't just vanish into thin air, right? There's got to be an explanation. Just spread out and look around. They were here, all right. I can still smell the exhaust. Tire tracks. Still wet from the rain. Looks like the car turned here. Hey, check this out. Come on, you're supposed to be the smart one. What are we missing? Oh, some kind of mechanism. Yeah, maybe. Four tires, four points of contact. Sully, stand right there. You two, back there and there. All right, everybody, on three. Ready? One, two, three. And? Well, this has got to be it. Wait. Wait, it's the light. Sully, aim your beam at the wall. Like headlights. Goddamn Cadabra. Um, Nate, just who are we dealing with here? Uh, there's only one way to find out. We'll track the car. You head back to the van. We'll try and stay in radio contact. I'll let you know when we get through to the other side, all right? <laughs> Wherever the hell that is. Just be ready for anything. Might be a quick exit. No doubt. She's the best driver in the business, you know. So I've heard. Well, I think we agree this is more than a little weird. Who the hell drives their car underground? Oh, well, let me think. Someone who doesn't want to be followed, you know, it's just a guess. Smart ass. Looks like they bored straight into the old service tunnels. have to find a way around. Hey, over here. It's locked. Not for long. Come on. We should be able to squeeze through here. I think. Lead on, McDuff. Oh, for God's sake. What? Lay on. It's Lay on the Duck. <sighs> Can we hurry it along, please, mate? All right, back there? Yeah, yeah, you know, just, just not keen on the old tight spaces, that's all. Uh, just keep moving. Oh, thank God for that. Where the hell is McDuff? Is there no bottom to your ignorance? I see them! Oh, oh yeah, nice one, mate. Thanks. Okay, the tunnel's right below us. At least we're still on the right path. Long way down.
Careful, it's slippery. up there and a ladder yeah looks like it's jammed though let me see if I can loosen it uh, look out here it comes uh, on me. Uh, looks like there's some sort of gate up there You cut her a little help here. Sure, I got you. All right, ready? Pull. Got it. Okay, Charlie, come on. the tunnel again. That's too far to drop there. We'll break our damn necks. Crap. It's a dead end. Down here. Charlie, who the hell are we dealing with here? I don't know, mate. Whoever they are, they are seriously weird. Look at the ironwork. Why, well, it's got to be Victorian, maybe older. Yeah. This stuff's been rusting for a century. Maybe we can get through here. Like it's stuck. Like one of us should climb up there and see if they can dislodge it. Good idea. Guess who? <laughs> ah, crap. there.
good eye. Thanks for having our back. Hey, there's Marlo's car. All right. From here on, no more guns. Ah! Hands up. Oh, I don't know. We must have taken a wrong turn somewhere. Yeah, is this King's Cross? Don't move. Hey, hey, you, you got us all wrong, man. We're from Cleveland. Oh, well done, mate. That a boy. What the hell kind of place is this? I've never seen anything like it. Some sort of train station or something. Yeah, yeah, but it's got to be almost 200 years old. Jesus, just when you think things can't get any weirder. Shh, get back. Take them out quietly. Nicely done, boys. Come on. They must have gone through here. And it gets weirder. Oh, this stonework. Looks like Tudor, 16th century. Up this way. Quietly, Nate. Hey, over here. Seriously, who are these people? I'm not interested in your excuses. He was a loose cannon and you should have known. Yes, it is regrettable, but... Not regrettable. Sloppy. Your poor judgment could have cost us everything. 400 years of searching. Finally, Drake's secret will be revealed. What is this? I don't understand. It's a forgery. What? That's not possible. I verified it myself. This isn't the ring. Really? I held it in my hands. I saw him put it around his neck. This doesn't make sense. We've been duped. Cutter. Uh-huh. You men stand guard and stay alert. We may have been followed. You, come with us. Find them and bring me that ring. I don't care how you get it. This is quite the operation they got going here. Look at all this stuff. Ugh. Nate, focus. We haven't got much time here. Yeah. Yeah. What are you... My God, do you know what this is? It's a book, mate. There's a lot of them in here. It's a library. It's not just any book, wise-ass. Belonged to T.E. Lawrence. 
You know, Lawrence of Arabia. Yes, 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 I know who he is. This was mailed from Dorset on the day of his motorcycle accident. May 13th, 1935. They must have killed him once they got their hands on it. They? Yeah, they, they, them, whoever these people are. Oh, what a lot of rubbish. It was an accident. Witnesses saw a black car run him off the road. Guys. Oh, oh, oh so it was like a big cover-up. Maybe. Nate. What? That thing that you have been waiting 20 years for? Right. Here we go. L O H D N. Huh. What is it? Uh, it's long hidden. What? Shush. No shit, long hidden. Are you kidding me? No offense, mate, but your ancestor was a right asshole. Just shut up. It's an anagram. Golden Hind. The Golden Hind. Drake ship. Yes. It's a clue. It's got to be something hidden in this room. All right, spread out. See what you can find. What the hell are we looking for, anyway? The Golden Hind. Could it be a model? Maybe a painting. Well, what makes you think it's even here? It's got to be here. Well, it could be at Buckland Abbey for all we know. What? Buckland Abbey, it's a place you've never been there. Move on. Well, there's a chair there made from the wood of his ship. Maybe it's hidden in there. Yeah, I suppose it could be, but... No. No, it's got to be here. This place is amazing. The things in here must be worth a fortune. Nate, of we course. can't be screwing around like there this. They'll be back any minute. I found it. Where? Up there. The figurehead from Drake's ship. Trap! They're here! Take cover! Everything. Come on! Get 
There's a ladder. Come on, hurry up! Which station? Come on! Time to explain. We got. guy says, well, you better tickle mine, too, because now I gotta catch the goddamn thing. <laughs> Cheers. Mm. To a job? Well done. Yeah. Are you going to join us, darling? Yeah. Yeah. 
Well, the map proves it. Drake didn't screw around in the East Indies for six months. He sailed straight through and headed to Arabia. Right. But here's where it gets interesting. You see this, Mark? This is John D.'s signature. Who the hell's John D? John D? One of Queen Elizabeth's closest advisors. Everybody knows that. Yeah, yeah. He was a great mathematician and navigator. Okay, way ahead of his time. He's probably the one who invented that. Seriously into the occult. I mean, like a really creepy dog. Yeah, see, way. he signed all his letters to the Queen with this symbol, meaning he was her eyes. The original 007, you see? Look, 007. Not really that relevant. So it was John D who sent Drake to Arabia? Yeah, it looks that way. D and Elizabeth. And Walsingham. <sighs> Great, but what for? Well, that's the million-dollar question, isn't it? And this is where T.E. Lawrence comes in. See, before Lawrence became Lawrence of Arabia... Great film. ...he was an archaeologist. And even when he was just a kid, he was obsessed with history, everything to do with knights and the Crusades. And he traveled all over, documenting every Crusader site he could find. It, it's all in here. All right, you lost me completely, kid. What the hell has this got to do with Drake? I'm getting to that. See, after the war, Lawrence said that if he were ever to go back to Arabia... It would be to search for this place he called the Atlantis of the Sands. Now, the legend crops up over and over again under different names. Ubar, Aram of the Pillars, the City of Brass. But the story is always the same. Well, city of immeasurable wealth, destroyed by God for its arrogance, swallowed forever in the sands of the Rubalkali Desert. Right here. <laughs> I like the immeasurable wealth part, anyway. And you think this is what Elizabeth and Dee sent Drake after? Oh, yeah. And more importantly, it's what Marlowe is after. So, wait. If Drake was on a mission from the Queen to find this place, why all the secrecy? I mean, it looks like he went to a lot of trouble to hide whatever he found, even from Her Majesty. I don't know. Oh, oh, I'm sorry, what was that? No, hang on a second, because if you recall the last time we went halfway around the world searching for a lost city, things got more than a little dicey. Yeah, but this time we have the upper hand. I mean, look, Drake only had half the clues. Lawrence only had half. We have both. And Marlowe has nothing. Small problem. The Rubalkali Desert, 600 miles across. The Bedouin go around the damn thing. And even if we knew where it was, which we don't, we would die trying to find Just it. Just hold on. You see these symbols here? Yeah. Looks like Sabian, Sabian script. Sabian script. Right. Look, the Crusaders were searching for the same lost city a thousand years ago. But out of all the sites Lawrence documented, only two are marked with these symbols. One in Syria, the other in France. Oh. No, you two are going to Syria. We're heading to France. Look, we track down these clues. We find Lawrence's lost city. I'm sure of it. Well, and then what? How are we going to get across 600 miles of impossible wasteland? Well, it's in the middle of the desert. So technically, it'd be about 300 miles. Oh. <laughs> Look, I don't know. We'll figure it out. We burn that bridge when we get to it, eh? Exactly. What do you say? What the hell? Let's do it. <laughs> the line, I guess. Don't. <laughs> Looks like we're going the rest of the way on foot. <laughs> what? Leave it to you to find a friggin' jungle in the middle of France. <laughs> well, we're definitely headed in the right direction. Chateau should be this way. Not too far. Come on. Not too far. <laughs> With you, I never know if that means a quarter mile or 20. Like that time you got us lost in Peru. Oh, you really want to bring up Peru? <laughs> you are not still holding that over me. I was 15, Sully. Should have known when I met you that I'd be in prison within a year. <laughs> you were headed that way all on your own, if you recall. <laughs> Besides, I got you out, didn't I? I always get you out. <laughs> Oh, 
Come on, through here. There it is, just like in Lawrence's notes. Gotta have more faith in me, Sully. Of course, I don't remember this ravine being on the map. Ah, they must have just put that in. All right. Come on, we'll find another way around. <laughs> 